Devin Vassell is the best defender in the 2020 NBA draft class, and that's largely because of his uber-elite team defense thanks to his anticipation, his instincts, his timing on rotations, and his physical tools. So in this video, we're going to go through some plays of Devin Vassell playing defense and examine and break down what makes him such a special defensive prospect. And we'll start with one of his favorite hallmark plays, and that's his long corner-to-post rotation that he makes. So... And this really shows off his excellent anticipation. So Louisville is going to set up a post up on the left side here. And Vassal guarding the weak corner is already in position before the pass is thrown to help here. He's anticipating this play early. And when the ball's in the air, he's already making his way to the backside of the postman. So Vassal comes from behind. There's really nothing the man in the post can do as Vassal swipes it from behind. That's just excellent anticipation. Reading this pass before it happens and getting a steal. Next play, we're going to look at Vassal's pick-and-roll defense, and he's super aggressive hunting steals and blocks, especially as a tag defender, tagging the roller in pick-and-roll. And he can afford to, to make these gambles because of the scheme he plays in, having help behind him, and just his physical tools and anticipation skills. So Miami's going to set up a high pick-and-roll here, and before the roll man even crosses the three-point line, he's a foot behind the line. Vassal's already creeping towards the paint, expecting a pass to the roll. And that is exactly what happens. Chris Likes is going to try to float it into the roll man here, but Vassal's there early. And with his 6'9 wingspan, he meets this ball at the apex and nabs a steal. And even if the pass were to go to the corner here, Vassal has the tools, um, the speed, the length to recover and close out here, but he's going to go for the steal every time, and most of the time he's going to get it. Again, now Miami's going to swing to the corner here, and Vassal's playing the weak side of the defense again, and that's where he's so dangerous, where the defense kind of forgets, or the offense kind of forgets about him, and what's going to happen is the Miami Big is going to cut middle into space, and it looks pretty open right here, but Devin Vassell sees the play, and before this guy, Harlan Beverly, even throws the pass, Devin Vassell's creeping towards the paint again, and once the Miami, the Miami player catches the ball, Devin Vassell's in his airspace. There's really nothing this offensive player can do aside from a kick out here behind him, which is a pretty difficult play to make in general. So Vassell sniffs this out and is meeting the ball, meeting the ball at the spot. And then he makes an excellent block here, flashing his length and his timing. And this is a really impressive play without fouling. Just watch how engulfing Vassell's length is, swarming this player. And he brings his, brings his arm down, Timing this block perfectly without fouling and forcing a stop. Now we're going to look at nail defense. And what the nail is, is this spot in the middle of the free throw line. And elite team defensive wings are responsible for closing off the nail in order to deter driver's middle. And you see elite team defensive wings like Jason Tatum make plays at the nail all the time. And that's what Devin Vassell does. So the, the driver's going to look to get middle here. And Vassal guarding one pass away is going to park himself in the middle of the paint. And what this does is deter the drive middle um, because the middle of the floor is the most dangerous spot a player can be with the ball. So the defense wants to keep it out. Having a guy like Vassal with incredible length and timing on these plays really makes it so much easier to guard the nail because what's going to happen is Vassal is going to nab the steal here. But even if Vassal didn't get the steal, Vassal has the length to, to recover to one pass away, and he trusts his teammates to rotate, and Vassal has the IQ and awareness to clog, to clog open gaps off those rotations. So with his tools and IQ, he's going to blow up plays at the nail all the time in the NBA. More anticipation, and Purdue's looking, up to clear, looking to clear this side to open up a back cut right here, and Devin Vassal's man, Aaron Wheeler, is filling to the top of the three-point line trying to open up this side for Matt Harms to thread a cut back door. But what, what Purdue doesn't ha is not accounting for is that Devin Vassell has 360-degree awareness. He is aware of everything going on. And even though his man in front of him is cutting up to the three-point line, Vassell sees the ball and what's going on behind him. So Devin Vassell is going to jump to this play and nab the deflection. And it's hard to tell if 
Devin Vassell or Raekwon Gray is the one who actually got their hand on the ball, but either way, it's an awesome indicator of Devin Vassell's changing, change of direction speed, yes, but his anticipation and awareness, seeing the whole floor and reacting to the play developing. And now, even when Vassal is beat, he's not beat very often, but he's not perfect. Sometimes Vassal falls asleep. Um, he still has the physical tools to cover and make plays. So, Kihei Clark's going to drive here, and his man's going to back cut Devin Vassal. And at this point, Clark threads a pass here. His man catches for a layup. That's what should happen. But Vassal is, again, his 6'9 wingspan and his awareness to recover in just the nick of time to get his hand on this ball and make a play. Um, for most guys, that's a layup, but for Vassal, he has the tools to correct his mistakes. That's really important for someone who's going to make mistakes because that's what young players do when they make mistakes. Now we're going to look at some inbounds defense plays, and you don't really see inbound defense talk about, but Vassal's anticipation and awareness is so special that he really makes inbounding difficult for teams, and Tennessee is going to have... Jordan Bowden fill the weak corner here, and Lamont Turner is going to look to pass him right here. And he's not really given any indication of what he's going to do at this point. His, his torso is turned slightly in this direction, but there's really no visible indication that he's going to pass to Bowden in the corner. But Devin Vassell is kind of gambling here, but it's a very calcula calculated gamble, understanding where his teammates are in defense and understanding where the ball is likely to go. And as you probably guess, Vassal guess is right, anticipating that pass to the corner and getting the steal on. Watch this play back and fold just to show you how special this play is. Vassal is two steps ahead of the offense. He knows what the offense is going to do before the offense knows what, he, what they're going to do, and Vassal gets steals because of it. Again, defending the inbound, his man Josiah Jordan-James is going to fill to the three-point line, but he doesn't really care because Vassal knows he has teammates in that area. And what's going to happen is John Fulkerson is going to cut middle, beating his man. Vassal slides to cut that cut off, and what teams will do on baseline out of bounds plays is they'll have multiple guys cut to try to confuse defenses and send as many missiles as they can at the basket for easy layups. And that's, that's what they do here. Eves Pond is going to look to cut for a layup, and Vassal is already occupied with Fulkerson, but his incredible awareness, awareness of everything that's going on around him, he knows that this pass is likely coming, being aware of, wh of where the, the offense is, and Vassal peels off Fulkerson, steals this pass to Pond with his excellent length. Let's, let's pull it back one more time. A quick reaction to this pass, watching the inbounder as well, seeing what he's doing and stealing that pass. One more inbounds play as Duke is looking to set up a clear out for Vernon Carey as Cassius Stanley's going to fill the corner, Jordan Goldwire is going to fill this space, and Wendell Moore is going to chill right there, ostensibly opening up the middle for Vernon Carey to dive. And at first this, lo this play looks like it's working as... Malik Osborne's on the high side, Vernon Carey slips middle, and Trey Jones should be able to flutter this pass in for a layup, but Devin Vassell guarding Cassius Stanley to the corner, he is aware of the play, and he sees Vernon Carey cutting behind him, so he doesn't care about Cassius Stanley filling the corner, he cares about the layup, so Vassell's going to peel off his man, see this pass to the, to the middle, and steal it. Let's watch it back one more time in full. Vassell's going to peel off his man. Still the pass of the roll. Now we'll take a look at some of Vassal's defensive versatility as he starts this play out guarding Cassius Stanley up top. And he gets switched off on the pick and roll onto Vernon Carey, who's got a good couple inches and 100 pounds on Devin Vassal. So Duke knows this, wants to enter the ball into the post, try and get an easy bucket. But Vassal is physical and does not let this happen easily. So watch him front the post with his length. Doesn't give Carey an easy outlet. So... Cassius Stanley's going to swing the ball and try to end the post on the other side, but Devin Vassell, again, is fronting Vernon Carey, not letting anything happen, and blowing up that play. And now we'll lastly look at some transition defense, and let's do a head count. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, Duke right here with the 5th in the far corner. Got 1, 2, 3, 4, Florida State with the 5th in the far corner, that being Devin Vassell. So the obvious advantage here for Duke is Vernon Carey streaking down the middle, beating his man pretty comfortably, as we'll see. As you can see, this man, Balsa Kaprivica, has really no chance to catch up with Carey. So this should be an easy layup, but 
Uh, so we'll see what happens is Devin Vassell peels off his man on the corner and forces a reset. Um, look how look how deep his man Alex O'Connell is in the weak corner. Yep, Vassell knows the most dangerous place of the defense is the middle, so he's going to peel off of O'Connell really easily. And we, can't, we don't see him come on to frame until later, but Carey is already at the three-point line, and right when he catches the ball, Devin Vassell's in his airspace. So there's really nothing Carey can do. So he tries to go through him, ends up kicking out, and the offense resets. So there are some plays that try to explain and break down why Devin Vassell is such an elite defender and why he's one of the better prospects in this 2020 NBA draft class. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, leave feedback for what I can do better, um, who you want to see next. You can follow me on Twitter at Ben underscore Pfeiffer underscore, and have a great day.